Alright, what is up you guys and welcome back to my channel. My name is Dr. Jessica and I am a naturopathic doctor, an acupuncturist, as well as a virtual fitness coach. So in today's video I wanted to talk about ways to help boost your immunity naturally. Disclaimer alert out of the way, this is not a video about a cure for what's currently going on right now or a cure for the common cold, but this is more of my tips and tricks that I give to my patients and recommendations that I generally make of when cold and flu season is upon us. These are recommendations I generally make to help boost your immune system and increase your natural immunity. A lot of the recommendations in today's video are really kind of common sense approaches to really just taking care of yourself. So first thing I want to talk about is reducing stress. We all know it's difficult, we all have it, but reducing stress is one of the best things that you can do to help bring up your immunity. So when you have a chronic exposure to stress, especially long term, it can start to produce some of our stress hormones such as cortisol. Now it's a little bit more complicated than that, but that long term exposure to some of the stress hormones such as cortisol does have a long term sort of dampening effect on the immune system. So you want to be making sure that you're doing everything you can to help reduce the amount of stress that you're chronically carrying around with you. So some of the best ways to do that are with exercise, one of my personal favorites. Everything feels better anyway after a little bit of exercise. Um, yoga is another great way. We know that it helps to kind of balance the parasympathetic and sympathetic nervous system. The same thing with breathing exercises or things like biofeedback. I will actually leave a link down below to one of my favorite kind of at home biofeedback kind of breathing exercise. Um, it's an app along with a little device that you can wear on your ear. One of the ones that I love is called the M-Wave. This might be M-Wave Pro. You can get this online and use this at home. This is not just for clinicians. This is not sponsored, but this is something that I actually use as well and recommend to my patients for something at home. There's been lots of research on biofeedback and about it helping to reduce stress and muscle tension and anxiety. It's a really great tool if you want to do some biofeedback at home just making sure that you're doing your best to reduce the stress that your body's kind of hanging on to. Next thing I want to talk about is exercise. My, one of my personal favorites. Exercise we know helps to actually boost your immune system. Studies have shown that moderate intensity but consistent exercise, so we're not talking you know two three hours in the gym, like 20 to 30, 40 minutes of just getting your heart rate up and exercising. It can be cardio or it can be uh, strength training. That type of exercise has been shown to actually boost the circulation of immune cells. So this is a great way to really boost your immune system. So if you haven't seen any of my other videos on my Instagram, I am a virtual fitness coach as well. So if you would like to work out with me and, or if you want information about how I work out with you online and can get you started, then just uh, check out the link below. I'll leave a link down in my description box. Another basic is sleep. We all know it, but let me say it again. Making sure you're getting enough sleep and you're getting quality sleep will go a long way in improving your immune system function. Getting enough sleep can actually have an effect on the number of cytokines that are floating around in your body that also help to fight off infection. We already know from many studies that those who don't get enough sleep or enough quality sleep and are then exposed to a virus or bacteria are more likely to have symptoms and get sick from that exposure than someone who gets enough sleep. So if you are one of those people that has trouble sleeping, don't worry, I got you. Take a, if you haven't already seen my video on how to get better sleep naturally, then I'll leave a link in the description box below. In that video, I share my tips for not only getting better quality sleep, but falling asleep faster and actually staying asleep. So check it out. Another no-brainer is your diet. Just making sure that you're eating you know, a balance of all your macronutrients is gonna help with your immune system. You want to make sure that your body has enough fuel to continue producing all those cytokines and those immune system cells and that they're replicating and dividing in the way that they should. So making sure you're getting enough of your you know, balanced diet of your carbs and your proteins and your fats is going to help make sure that you're getting enough micronutrients and getting some of those important cofactors from your food that you would otherwise maybe need to supplement. Speaking of supplements. I want to talk about just a few and again I have to insert a disclaimer here this is not a treatment 
for the cold or the flu or any other virus. I have to say before you start any supplement, herb or medication, always, always, always talk to your primary care or talk to your provider first. And regarding checking in with a primary care provider or your healthcare provider, a lot of docs right now and a lot of naturopaths, myself included, we are doing a lot of telehealth and telemedicine so that you can get your personal questions answered and specific instructions just for you and your body. So first supplement that I like to talk about is vitamin C. I'm not going to mention dosages or anything like that, but I'm going to say that vitamin C is one of the things that we recommend. We know that vitamin C contributes to the immune defense by supporting cellular function of both the innate and the adaptive immune system. We know that zinc is also important for immune system function. It is an important factor in the maturation and division of some of the leukocytes in our body and leukocytes being part of our immune system response and some of those immune system cells. So making sure that you're getting enough zinc from your diet or maybe from a supplement is another important mineral to make sure that you're getting enough of. And then I wanted to mention briefly a few um, what we call immunomodulating herbs. With the immune system, sometimes it needs to be ramped up or sometimes we get an overreaction with like, say like autoimmune diseases and the immune system needs to be kind of tamped down. Immunomodulating herbs are those herbs that can kind of work either way depending on dosage. So again, you need to make sure that you're checking in with your healthcare provider or a registered herbalist or a naturopathic doctor who actually knows how these herbs work and knows appropriate dosage. But some of my favorite immunomodulating herbs are chai hu, which is Latin name is buplerum. Another one is astragalus. Echinacea, I think is one that everybody's heard of, kind of antivirals, some studies have shown as well, or antibacterial. Siberian ginseng or eleutherococcus is another kind of favorite that we use. Something a little bit more antiviral is elderberry. So again, you want to make sure that you're checking in with your healthcare provider before you're running out and buying any herbs or supplements. Go back to the basics. Make sure you're getting enough sleep. Make sure that you're getting enough macronutrients and vitamins and minerals that are coming from your diet. Make sure that you are doing everything you can to reduce stress and make sure as you're exercising and you're moving your body. I hope that you found this video helpful. As always, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and leave me a comment down below. If you have any questions, leave it down below. And make sure you join me in my next video, which will be very soon, and I will see you next time. Bye. Your number, baby